Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to make this video because as you saw in the title, I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 10, Lineage OS 17.1 on your Galaxy Tab S2. Yes, it is finally, finally here. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, first thing first, we're going to download some files and the link for all of these files will be in the video description as usual. So starting with Odin, go to odindownload.com and always download the latest version, so it's 3.13.1 and then go to download now, always download the latest version. And once we finish Odin, we're going to download TWRP, so go to twrp.me, go to devices and then for this one is Samsung and Control F and type in Tab S2 and you'll find the variants and my device is 9.7 2015 Wi-Fi and it's 210 Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna choose this link and then go down to the primary link and then just download wifi.img.tar file. You don't really need to download any other file. Just download that one and then click download again. Next, we're going to download the custom ROM, which is Linux OS 17.1. So to access that, this is the official developer page. And since my device is SMT810, I'm going to choose that, which is already open here. And I'm going to download the latest build. So click download and download anyway. It's around 422 megabytes, should take a couple of minutes. And lastly, we're going to download the Google Apps. So to download Google Apps for the Tab S2, choose the ARM 32-bit platform, choose Android 10, and choose Nano. You can go with Micro or Mini, but for the simplicity's sake, I'm going to choose Nano, and then download it. Now, once they finish downloading, I'm going to group all of these files into one folder. Also, I'm going to show you guys how you can back up all the data so that if anything goes wrong, you can always restore it back to the ROM that you were before. And we're going to back up using the TWRP recovery. And to show you guys the device that I'm using, so this is Tab S2 9.7 inch model. So it is SMT810 and it's running Android 7.0. Alright, so now I've downloaded everything and I've grouped it into a folder. So we have the custom ROM, which is Linux OS. We've got Odin and we've got TWRP for the recovery and the backup. And we've got Google Apps package. So first, we're going to extract all the files from Odin into a folder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open Odin. So open odin.exe. Click OK and we're going to boot our device into download mode. So to do that, first turn off the device. And to boot into download mode, we're going to press the power button, volume down and home button together. So power, volume down and home button. And press the volume up to continue. And now plug in the USB cable. And you should recognize on the OD that is added. Now, for some people, they have trouble installing TWRP, that their device doesn't recognize TWRP. Sometimes you might have to untick auto reboot option while you install the custom recovery. But for now, I'm not going to untick this one. I'm just going to leave it as this and choose AP and navigate to the TWRP recovery file that we've just downloaded which is this file over here, 3.4.rmg.tar um, file. So select that and press start. And you'll see the path successful on Odin and your device should be rebooted. And once it is passed, you can exit Odin safely. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the Google Apps and the Lineage OS file onto our device. And if your device doesn't get recognized sometimes, all you have to do is scroll down and then change the option into transferring media files. 
and it should be recognized on the computer. And you can copy and paste those two files anyway. Now, if you have an SD card, you can also paste it onto your SD card. All right, so once we have copied those two files, um, we're going to reboot into the recovery mode. Before we install, we're going to always back up the files, everything, the system application, all the general application, so that if anything goes wrong, we can always restore it. And then we're going to flush the custom run. All right, let's get started. All right, so now to reboot into recovery mode, we're going to first unplug the USB cable and then turn off the device. And we're going to press this time, power button, volume up, and home button together. So power button, volume up, and home together. And keep holding it. And you'll see TWRP version 3.4.00. And this is very important. You have to swipe to allow modifications. I don't know how many times that I have told, if you press keep read only, you have to refresh the TWRP. So always swipe to allow modifications. And as always, we're going to first back up the files. So boot, system, data is pretty much all you need. And we're going to back up these files to the micro SD card. So choose the micro SD card. So all of these files are going to be backed up to the external storage. You can back up to the internal storage, but make sure you don't format your internal storage if you do so. So swipe to backup. As you can see, the backing up takes quite a bit of time. So be prepared to give plenty of time while you do this. Also, because this is Android 10, which is the latest operating system that is available for this variation of Samsung tablet, I will also be doing a review of it because I've been using Android 7.0 for quite some time. So I'm going to be comparing how Android 7.0 and how Android 10.0, they perform um, in terms of gaming, in terms of productivity because this device is like five six years old now and i use this every now and then to browse the web or to like watch uh, youtube videos and stuff so yeah well i'll make another video about it so stay tuned if you are up for that and also another important side note is that when you back up using twrp it's not actually going to save your photos and videos it's only going to back up the application and application data so if you have important photos, videos, or anything like that in your internal storage, you should manually copy those files to your computer somewhere safe. So just bear that in mind if you are going to be full formatting your internal storage. So once this is finished, we're going to install the custom ROM, and then we're going to install the Google Apps package, and then we're going to reboot and see how it goes. Hopefully everything turns okay. Hopefully no crashes and um, yeah, we'll find out. All right guys, so it looks like backing up is complete. So first we're going to wipe and then swipe to factory reset. And then we're going to go back, back and then click install. Then we're going to change the storage because this is the external storage. If you remember, we copy our ROM and the Google Apps to the internal storage. So we're going to change the storage to the internal storage. Click OK. And now you'll see that on the internal storage, we have the two files that we've just copied. So again, making sure it is 17.1 for the GTS 210 Wi-Fi for the model and Android 10 for the Google Apps Nano latest release. So first we're going to install the ROM and I'll install the Google Apps after that. So swipe to install. Now this is going to take a while and it's going to take even longer when you reboot the system. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or a tea and yeah, just wait it out. I'm actually so excited because Android 10, Lineage OS 17.1 is actually working on the Tab S2 model. Previously, about two, three months ago, the version is available to install, but Many users have reported that it doesn't really boot into the operating system after you install it, it's just stuck in the boot. So I'm really excited to find out how it actually is. So after we finish the ROM, we're going to install the Google Apps. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far and you're doing it with me for the first time, because this is the first time of me doing it. So if you enjoy this content, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel because I really appreciate that and it really means a lot to me. And leave a comment below as well about any questions that you may have or any thoughts. Although it's been really busy couple of weeks for me, I'm reading the comments every time.
Looks like we have finished installing both the ROM and the Google Apps package. So I'm going to reboot the system again. Finger crossed this is going to work. Anyway, swipe to install TWRP app and it's going to reboot. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the Lineage OS Android 10. I hope it doesn't stack in the boot. I hope it comes fast as well because it's already what 11 14 p.m at night time although my bedtime is at 12 p.m if this works i might stay up a little longer and then find out the new features i guess because i've been waiting for this for so long and i believe many of you as well oh boy look at this this is coming this is coming i still can't believe this is android 10 running on this device this is insane guys this is literally insane it says checking for updates but I don't think there's any updates because we've just downloaded the latest um, recovery file and the latest ROM so I think it should be fine in a few minutes. Copy apps and data, I don't want to do that now so don't copy, we're almost there boy. This is so exciting, I don't know how many of you are excited but this is so exciting. Oh and by the way I'm actually sitting on the floor because I can't contain my excitement on the chair. I'm literally sitting on the floor with the mat on it. Man this is exciting. Send me weather every day, news every day. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get a full experience of what it is. So I'm going to take all the boxes and press next. Let's see. Let's see how it is. Like I said, I'm gonna be reviewing this Android 10 in a couple of days or maybe weeks. Yeah, we'll find out how it is. While it's happening, please check your connection. Do I not have internet? Okay, looks like there is a problem with the connection so I'm going to dismiss now but I'm going to try to find those settings again after the device finished setting up and I'll let you guys know how it is. Anything else? No thank you. Finishing touches. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, next. Alright, you guys ready? Are you guys actually ready? Because I'm going to press start now and we're going to be taken into the Lineage OS 17.1 home screen. So you guys better be ready. Boy, look at it. It's smooth as well. Look, so smooth. Oh my God, this is insane. Literally insane. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to settings. Check this out. About tablet. SMTA 10, Android 10. Oh wait, no, what am I pressing? Android 10. Oh boy, look at it. Oh boy, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This is so exciting. Alright. Enough with the jokes. <laughs> um, let's make sure that these buttons are working. Wow, that's literally the best experience ever no hiccups no errors just download those files install it the way i install it yeah you should have no problem if you have any problem let me know in the comments i'll help you out as well but yeah this has been the most fun experience ever i'm just speechless oh and by the way because we didn't fully format the internal storage all my photos and videos are still there so you don't necessarily have to format it but if you want to make it a brand new device i guess you can but yeah it's all up to you but hopefully following this video you guys are able to upgrade to android 10 lineage 17.1 let me know in the comments how it goes for you if you have any problems or if you have any thoughts about it let me know as well i really appreciate it as i said before and again if you find this video useful give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well Anyway guys, that's all going to be for today. It's already 11.24pm, about half an hour before my bedtime. I think I might stay a little late than my bedtime, maybe 12, 12.30 or something. And yeah, check out the features because I am so excited. Anyway guys, hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and peace out.